This is a LiPo, specifically with an XT60 connector. I'm going to preference this before I even start the video with a LiPo is going to be way better than anything I'm going to recommend. However, as much as we love LiPos in the hobby, they are not perfect for every single situation. Contrary to what we want to believe, they are not perfect. Now I'm not talking about LiPo safety, but I do think a majority of the problems we have in the hobby are with people not initially educating themselves on what they're trying to mess with. That's a side tangent for another video. Now, today we're talking about this. The good old fashioned double A. Why are we talking about the double A? First of all, to go back to what I said earlier, the LiPo isn't perfect for everybody. There is a number of local kids in my local group who I wouldn't feel 100% safe with giving them a blaster that has been modded for LiPos. And it's mainly more because of their parents not being 100% invested as a hobby and understanding it. Them just thinking, oh, just plug it into charge, it'll be fine. It won't be fine. That'd be a dangerous explosive situation, and also when it comes to dealing with parents, most parents just want to hear that the hobby is safe, and it's a safe place that they can watch their kids while they go and they play Nerf Wars with their friends. So this video is kind of geared more towards that. And with the perfect, I dare say perfect, rechargeable AA battery that I have stumbled upon. And that's this, the Power Owl. Oh yeah, I love my owls. Shout out to my buddy Copper Owl, go check him out, go give him some love. Now I'm not going to get into the semantics and talking about milliamperage versus milliwatts versus voltage and current and discharge rates and everything like that. You don't need to be an electrical engineer in order to play with a Nerf blaster. But what I have found about these Power Owl batteries, which all transparency, these were sent over by the company for me to take a look at. In all honesty, they were like, we sincerely want to know what you think. We're looking for toy reviewers people in that space to use our products and tell us what you think about it in all honesty and that's kind of what this video is addressing because I think this is perfect for kids that are barely getting into the hobby maybe the parents don't want to keep buying them AA batteries and maybe the kids are just a little bit too young to understand proper lipo safety not just do we come with a charger which I think most rechargeable batteries have to come with a charger it's a USB type C charger which essentially means you can recharge your batteries anywhere. On the road, throw your batteries in here, charge them up. If your cell phone uses a Type-C charger, then this is perfect for you. It does come with a USB-C charging cable, but it is small and kind of gimpy. And they do include a total of eight AA batteries. So why should you consider investing in rechargeable AA's, specifically the power out ones? Did I mention the rechargeability? That means these are perfect batteries for mod testing. You never want to test a mod project on anything close to a LiPo. You're just going to cause a fire in case there is a short. So why would we want AA batteries? Well you see, let's say we're thrifting and we find a uh, kind of rare blaster, maybe something sought after, maybe a hyperfire, maybe something that has more gimmicks than just flywheels. And we would want to run it in a way that isn't going to mess up any of the lights and features on it. We definitely want to preserve all these fun and gimmicky little quirks. And of course, the stock Dart Zone Pro Mark III definitely does perform better on eight double A's instead of a 2S or 3S LiPo. And let's say we have something goofy like the Alpha Stride Flight, which I will admit I'm very partial to. And it's just perfect for indoor kind of goofy plinking wars. Contrary to what people think. Now one thing I have noticed from using these batteries specifically is that there isn't as much drop off as there is with traditional double A's. And I think that's because these are rechargeable Lion batteries as opposed to rechargeable NIMS. It's technical jargon that uh, if you were a kid probably doesn't mean anything to you. It just means these batteries will last longer, give you a small performance boost, and of course these batteries work great for any other use you have household-wise. But these batteries are perfect for me as a collector to essentially use and test new stock that I'm getting in, make sure that it's working properly before I open it up and start modding it. Because believe me, as a collector, I have a lot of stuff stocked because it's part of my inventory. 
and there's nothing more annoying than knowing that a product and inventory is not working because then it means I have to go out and find another one <laughs> to replace it. Having rechargeable batteries just makes things a lot simpler. If they die, throw them in the charger. Within like 30 minutes to an hour, they're good to go. Anyway guys, I'm Boss. I kind of ramble on long enough. Leave a like down below, comment. Do you use rechargeable batteries? What type of rechargeable batteries do you use if you do use rechargeable batteries? Surprisingly, not everybody uses LiPo's. My very first HVZ I went to, I ran a stock demolisher and that ran just great. It just depends on the type of wars you're having and how you are scaling your play according to your venue. All the same, show this video right down it helpful, informative, maybe a little goofy. But until then guys, I'm Boss. I'll see you guys next time on The Battlefield.